we have a returning guest, Maria Catalano of A Happy Hostess, um, and we're going to be interested to see what's happened to her and her business and her husband. Uh, Bob Catalano is with us also, uh, so we'll be interested to hear the update of their business over the past couple of years. Hello, Maria. Hello, Bob. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. Uh, tell us first about the Happy Hostess. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for having me back. Uh, the Happy Hostess is a party accommodating service, which I own. We provide party servers, bartending service for people that entertain at home, at their business, with events, or fundraisers. That's quite an interesting business. That's a business of, of a lot of detail, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, what we like to do is come in, uh, get a 10-minute briefing with you, get the flow of your party, set up the buffet, do the serving of the appetizers, replenish the food, and the cleanup, which is the big part of the whole party. So you work strictly in the home, or do you also like book hotels for people, bands, things like that? Our niche is a home party or business event at a business or a fundraiser. <coughs> um, those are the people that really need our service and love our service. Uh, How did you get involved in this business? Well, a friend of mine was having a party and needed help, and she came to me and said, I'm having a party, I can't handle it, and I need your help. So why did she come to you? Because of my 30 years experience as a flight attendant, she knew that I could put together a party for her and get the service going. Or is, or is that just handling difficult people on planes? Well, maybe <laughs> that came into the picture too. I want to know something. Is she still your friend? Yes, she is, and okay. she has me back every other year. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So talk to us about being a flight attendant and what's, what, what did you learn there that was transferable into this business? Well, as you know, as being a flight attendant, we have a lot of training and um, you have to be reliable, you have to have experience, and you have to think quick on your feet when the unknown comes into the picture. And that can also relate to having a party at someone's house. Something might happen, your oven could stop working, the setting could be wrong, the caterer forgot to deliver the food. I have to think quick for that Kate person who's having the party so that she doesn't have a bad party and I make it a happy party. So, so do you